Welcome back guys, this is Doug with Break Tech, and we are picking up where we left off on our tic-tac-toe application. Um, we're going to go ahead and put in some of the logic for the game now. And we're going to kind of pick up where we left off. We were just working on the announcement. Um, so there's a couple things we need to pass. Uh, let's just get all the props in line before we start working on actual game logic. Um, so when we pass in the uh, or when we um, render the announcement, uh, we're going to set it up so that if the game has been won, uh, the class on this announcement um, will toggle on and off based on if there's a winner or not. Um, so what we need to do is we need to pass in a prop of if there's a winner or not. And in this case, we'll just say winner equals this dot state dot winner. And then we're not using, we don't currently have a winner um, state item. So we'll go ahead and go up to our state and we'll just add winner and we'll start it out with null. All right. And then we need to go into our um, announcement.js here and we'll go ahead and change the class name. And the way we're going to do this is actually kind of cool. Um, we're just going to say this.props.winner and if that exists and has an item we'll say we want this to be the class of visible and if not we'll have it be the class of hidden. Go ahead and save that and then we can go ahead and import uh, we'll go ahead and import announcement.css, which we need to create. And in here we'll say dot hidden display none. And I think that should do it. I mean, I guess we don't need a class visible, but it, if you're looking at the DOM, it'll be more descriptive of what's going on um, if you're doing some um, debugging. And then our reset button also needs to be passed a prop, and our reset button, the prop for our reset button is going to be the function that resets the board. Um, so we'll call that reset board. Uh, we can create the function now. I don't think it needs any variables passed into it. So let's see what we need to do. Uh, we'll say, we'll call this prop reset and we'll call it, uh, okay, and it'll be um, this dot reset board dot bind this. And this is a this is basically how it's always going to look if you're passing a prop, which is a function, uh, because you want to call the function on the uh, you know the top level uh, component, the app.js, not on reset button itself. Um, otherwise, you know that because that's where the state exists. The state exists on this app.js top level component, so it won't know what reset board is if we try to call it without binding this from our uh, reset button component. We can pull up our reset button and I think that's it for that. That's complete, yeah. So now we need to write some of these functions um, for app.js and we can start with the reset because it's going to be super easy. Um, all we're going to do is reset the state so for this, we'll say this dot set state, and we'll say game board should be equal to the empty array. Actually, all of this. We're just gonna copy it all. Okay. 
uh, we're going to say there's no winner. We're going to say it's X's turn since it's the beginning of the game. So really, we're just recalling the constructor. So now, uh, let's say we had an X here and an O here. If we go ahead and look at the board, oops, that's the completed one. Oh great, now we got more errors. Oh, we didn't create our announcement.css. Yeah, we did. Oh. We didn't have the path, so it failed to find it. So that should fix our errors, yeah. Alright, and what we'll, uh, we still need to fix the styling, but as you can see, um, now we have an X and an O in the state but then our reset function should oh it doesn't work and why is that all right we call it reset board reset board And now the prop is called reset. So we gotta make sure that that was the same on app. Reset equals this dot reset board dot bind dot this. Should work. Ah, uh, so the reason that the um, that the function called from the child component wasn't um, wasn't changing the state of the game board is that we uh, actually had a typo here and game the board and game board needs to be capitalized uh, so if we save that we should be able to go back to our component I'll just I'm just gonna refresh it should refresh on its own I'm just doing that just to make sure um, but yeah if we hit reset now uh, it clears all of the the current board state and we get an empty board so um, that should wrap it up for this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and uh, finish up the game logic and add the. Um, we're going to add the functions for uh, determining if there has been a winner to the game, if the game is a draw, or if um, a game board tile that someone clicks on already has um, an X or an O in it, so we know that uh, that is not a valid play. All right. Thanks for watching. This has been Doug with Break Tech, and we'll have our next uh, video out shortly. Thank you for, very much for watching.